What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in on today's video. I'm Gabe and I'm here with my boy Daniel and Darian. If you guys are new to the channel, you probably won't know who Daniel is, but if you guys are stopping by for another time, this is the same guy that had this car. <laughs> Since we filmed that video, which was like over almost two years ago, he still has not made a channel. And, and uh, you know, I've, I've <laughs> pestered him and I've told him. And to this day, I still get people commenting, yes, we want to see something. Yes, we want to see something. People still keep asking about the build. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is take a look at the garage that he's been building over these last couple months. And uh, well, he is parting out his C250. Why are you parting out your C250 that basically is the most heavily modified, I think, in the world, ar arguably. And I think that all good things must come to an end at some point. Um, I've put in a lot of work inside C250. It's done a lot of things for me in my life, but I think that it's time to move on. And I've picked up a couple of projects that I want you guys to take a look at today that I think will exemplify why it's maybe time to move on. Do, do a little show for us. Yeah. <laughs> all Merck family here. <laughs> so here we have uh, his recently picked up E550. So this is a 2014 E550. In 2013 pre-facelift, 2014 facelift where they changed the body style, LED headlights, everything else. They look much newer. In 2014 with the facelift is where they introduced the V8 twin turbo motor, the M278. Now 2015 they took the motor out and they put in the C43 motor, C400 motor. So they only made this car for one year with the facelift platform with the V8 twin turbo. This car specifically is fully loaded. Is this what you're going to be building up? It, it depends on a lot of factors. Honestly, in this car economy, if I'm able to flip it, I got it at a very good price. If I'm able to flip it, I most likely will. It, it's a little complicated to do work on the car sometimes. Uh, since it is a V8 twin turbo all-wheel drive system, the front area of the car is very busy. There's, a, there's not a lot of space. So in, able to, in order to install downpipes, for example, you've got to pull the motor. Okay, the downpipes specifically for this model are, it's a whole custom thing. You need custom mounts, engine mounts, you need custom brackets. So it ends up being around a $4,500 price just for the downpipes, not including pulling the motor. Yeah. <coughs> the, the spark plugs are upside down as well. So in order to reach the uh, spark plugs, it's either a mission or you pull the motor. To install turbos, you, you get the idea. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's going to be replacing the C250? The majority of the parts have been sold. It's just people got to come pick it up. You know, everything that's uh, selling really fast. A lot of people have been following the build. And I feel like a lot of people follow the, your build. And then when you, it goes time to part out, everybody's like, give me those parts. You know? <laughs> they're, they're like predators. They're hungry. Well, I mean, I, I, guys, I can't even emphasize. Uh, and I'm, I mean, who, who, what better person to tell you how much has gone into this build than Daniel himself? Since the last time you guys have seen it, I wrapped it myself. This is the first car I've ever wrapped, so I went ahead and wrapped the whole car in Cheetah Wrap Nardo Gray. And we went ahead and installed the C63 style bumper. So tell us a little bit more about your uh, future sure. plans with one of so, these. Um, about four, four and a half months ago, I purchased uh, my new daily. This is an E400 wagon. Again, just like the E550. It's fully loaded. Um, the Zigno interior, every single option spec'd out, suede roof, drives itself. And this driving feature for that it drives itself is much more adaptive than the E550. The E550, you sort of got to keep a finger on the wheel of this one. Right. You set it, it goes. It's like a Tesla. It's one of the most beautiful interiors I've ever seen in my life. It's yeah. basically a Maybach interior in an E-Class Y. Oh my, look at this! <laughs> one thing I've installed is these uh, speakers which when I turn on the car, they spin out. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, so the Maybach specs for this generation and even some of the newer ones come with this trim, which is the black trim with the white lines on it. Um, apart from that, this is the Napa, gray Napa leather option. If you take a look at these seats, you'll notice that they are diamond stitch seats and they are the Designo spec. And the other thing that I've installed is the 2022 LED tail lights. These are brand new on the brand new models. Um, and then, if we take a look, <laughs> the, the kick, the kick <laughs> open, dude. This is my favorite part of the whole car. The groceries. This is oh, one yeah. of the reasons. Bro, 
god, the microfiber towels! Oh my god, dirty. gone, gone. All right. This is one of the reasons that I bought the car. Um, this is what sold me on the car from the beginning. So what do you do if you have four of your buddies and the car is full? Stop. <laughs> yes. Stop. So Mercedes is one of the only manufacturers. I should have been behind you. That, that I should fit kept it. the rear seats in the trunk. Most manufacturers had them a long time ago, but then they took them out. Mercedes is one of the only ones that stuck to their heritage and kept them. So this is my no, third row. Left behind. One of the funnest adventures I've ever done is for my birthday. We loaded the car with all my buddies. It was seven of us in this car. I was car. not invited. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I mean, if, oh, if some, well, I'm not that. Ah, trust me, like if some and there's giants, headroom. If some giants Put your head up. fit in there, yeah, you fit in there. There's headroom. Yeah. Let's close them in there. It's kind of like my Camaro. What'd you say? <laughs> I, I can't hear you. <laughs> it's locked up. <laughs> that is so cool. Isn't that cool? What's it called? Um, Tailgating. Yes, yeah, sir. The best part is, is that, like, you know, if you, if you do a hard break or something like that, your face is gonna implant on like this beautiful yeah. suede. The suede. The suede. <laughs> so it's gonna feel <laughs> really good. Don't let a girl with makeup back here though. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, so let's get a last exhaust. Oh, okay, so we'll give her some time. <laughs> there she is. How much horsepower does this make? I don't think we covered that. So the wagon makes around 400 horsepower and around close to 500 foot-pounds of torque. Again, it's a C43 motor. Come on stock, they come on like 330. It, like the second day I bought it, I tuned it <laughs> with my tuning company. So um, it's really good. I love it. Launches super hard. Um, let's go for a ride. Let's get a little exhaust clip. All right, it needs muffler to lead. Effective immediately. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do with this thing, man. Honestly, knowing you, knowing you, you're gonna go all out. Oh man! Like, dude, you went all out with this. Like, hopefully that'll be reason for him to actually start a channel and you know start updating you guys. Cause hey, I'm not bullshitting. I get people saying yes still years later after we filmed that video. People are still saying yes. To, has he made the channel? What's his Instagram? And I always have to be like, yo, pin the comment, check it out. <laughs> there, walk of shame. We're gonna get our first impressions. And right off the bat, the massage seats in this thing is so crazy, dude. You your booty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. There's like an immediate response. Immediate. We did a little pull on the uh, the E550, and uh, the lag was a little bit more intense. But this is just off the bat; it moves, and the sound, the sound is good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 60 <laughs> just like that <laughs> we're in a wagon that, that's the craziest thing man oh, like wagon, I, I, and the chilling thing is that like whenever you don't want to be sporty and oh yeah you know you just, a hoon you put it completely in comfort and you don't feel anything the suspension in this thing is incredible and you're not really like too worried about the gas yeah, necessarily I mean, it's, it's pretty good on the highway it gets 30 <sighs> yeah it's great i love it in the city too it gets like 25 26 especially in this gas crisis <laughs> And look at me, I'm out here still doing pulls during a gas crisis. Like, you guys better like and subscribe <laughs> for <laughs> pulls during a gas crisis. <laughs> They'll never suspect a thing. Oh my God, you guys, you guys, when I tell you that I'll do a pull and a cop will catch up, if it's a group of us, 
they never suspect the lag. I've done pulls and I've done pulls past cops and cops will come and catch up and pull somebody else over. <laughs> Smoke left in the grass. <laughs> Literally, dude. This thing is the sleep while game, but it's not sleep. Nobody stands a chance against a sleep while. Bro, especially when you start doing the downpipes and stuff. Like, what do you expect to be making with the downpipes? With downpipes and intakes, maybe around like close to 500, 450, 500. I mean, that's I think that's perfectly reasonable. Reasonable for a, a daily size station wagon daily. I've taken the C250 to fast lane, and I'll always lose, like at least like a couple times. Like, I'll win sometimes, lose sometimes. Right. I took the sleeper wagon, and I did not lose a race. I beat a big turbo GTI, uh, 85 meth, like the 530i or 330i. I beat a Veloster N, and like a bunch of other cars. Like, it was awesome. And then I'll get to a light, and I'll ask people to race, and I raced a Q60s, mocked him. Q60. Q60. Mopped him off the line, yeah. So what, what were you getting, 8.7, 8.8? I was getting 8.6, 8. 8.5. Oh my, dude, I, I've i never, with the Camaro, I've never been able to get under 8.8, 8, bro. I feel like a noob, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are now back at the guest parking where I have my beautiful chariot. But bro, awesome to see you. You too, bro. As always, it's been Great way too long, and congratulations on the two new cars. Really just one car, because, you know, businessman. And uh, sad to see the C250 go, but bro, it's, it's, it's had a really fun and long and, and really healthy just run. Man. And uh, I'm, I'm really glad that I was there to be a part yeah. of it. And I remember just seeing it at day, like in community college, just like, yo, I, can I, yo, can I please record your... <laughs> <laughs> it's for I'm putting together a compilation, which by the way, I never actually made it. <laughs> I'm still missing some cars. If you guys found this video informative and entertaining, go ahead and give it a like. It helps out a lot with the algorithm. Guys, also comment in the section below. I know I've said this a million times. Get this guy, actually, right there. Check it out, right there. Please spam him. Get this man a started, because he won't listen to me. He will not listen to me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys enjoy my content overall. And guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these vlogs, my reviews, my how-tos, etc., etc. And guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!